Let me show these suckers how to ball out here. Oh, man. Let me get this together here. Oh, layup. Oh, no. Shot. Oh, three. Three. Oh, it's like Brick City out here. Mid-range. Oh, my goodness. I can't buy a bucket out here. I missed the whole damn basket. Oh, my goodness. What's going on, man? My game is looking trash. Rap. Oh, here we go. Black Power Media shirt. Now we cooking. Now we cooking. Tree. Tree. I'm taking all tree of y'all with these right here. Between the legs. Oh, my goodness. Behind the back. Layup. Oh, did he just do a reverse? He is in beast mode out here. I ain't got to look. It's falling. Oh, my goodness. This guy is going. Three, two, one. Kobe. Nice. Black Power Media, baby. Nice. Empower yourself. Go get you some of that Black Power Media again. Right here at blackpowermedia.org. Yeah. I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like. What I like. Hey, hey, what's up, world? Welcome to another edition of I Mix What I Like. I'm Jared Ball right here at Black Power Media, back as your host, and of course, happy to be so. I just wanted to do a quick addendum video uh, to the one I did the other day regarding Beyonce's Break My Soul, uh, where I made a reference and said I was going to come back to it and never did. So I want to come back and just briefly look at what I had meant to add into that bit. And then, of course, if you haven't seen that, definitely go see that that video uh, about Beyonce's Break My Soul and 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 all that I was trying to do there. And this will make more sense. Although on its own, I think it's pretty clear too. Uh, so let me just pull this up here. Uh, from 1883, Paul Lafargue, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, and as I, as I showed the other day, started with the other day, the quote that opens, and then of course I never came back to it. Let us be lazy in everything except in loving and drinking, except in being lazy. So I just want to share a little bit from this chapter one, which is online. I'll put the, the link in the, in the show uh, uh, description, and uh, it, it, which was great because I couldn't find, I still have not found my copy of the book. It's a short book which is a collection of these writings and essays and thoughts, much of them meant to be satirical um, to a certain, you know, um, comedic. But just this little bit to add into that video from yesterday. Chapter one, a disastrous dogma. A strange delusion possesses the working classes of the nations where capitalist civilization holds its sway. The delusion drags in its train the individual and social woes, which for two centuries have tortured sad humanity. This delusion is the love of work, the furious passion for work, pushed even to the exhaustion of the vital force of the individual and his progeny. Instead of opposing this mental aberration, the priests, the economists, and the moralists have cast a sacred halo over work. Blind and finite men, they have wished to be wiser than God, than their God. Weak and contemptible men, they have presumed to rehabilitate what their God had cursed. I, who do not profess to be a Christian, an economist, or a moralist, I appeal from their judgment to that of their God, from the preachings of their religious economics or free thought ethics to the frightful consequences of work in capitalist society. In capitalist society, work is the cause of all intellectual degeneracy, of all organic deformity. And then I just want to skip ahead here. He gives some, some again, examples. He's making fun of some things. But I just want to get to this point here, whereas he wrote, the Greeks in their era of greatness had only contempt for work. Their slaves alone were permitted to labor. The free man knew only exercises for the body and mind. And so it was in this era that men like Aristotle, Phidias, Aristophanes moved and breathed among the people. It was the time when a handful of heroes at Marathon crushed the hordes of Asia, soon to be subdued by Alexander. The philosophers of antiquity taught contempt for work, that degradation of the free man, the poets sang of idleness, that gift from the gods. Jesus, in his Sermon on the Mount, preached idleness, 
Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that they that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Jehovah, the bearded and angry God, gave his worshipers the supreme example of ideal laziness. After six days of work, he rests for all eternity. <laughs> so looking up a little bit more about Lafargue, the short of it is, he uh, equated wage slavery to all other forms of enslavement and was attempting to make a point that in the so-called modernizing society, those subdued by capitalist wages were the new slave, the newly enslaved. And those who lived off that labor are truly the lazy who Again, Jimi Hendrix's if six was nine, although in his it was a revolution, uh, so he didn't mind. But for, for in there, in that upside down world or in our upside down world currently, the argument is that all that is good in the world comes from the hardworking capitalist who struggle against the laziness of the hordes. But the idea that profit drives humanity and is capital what was I writing here? My notes. The, but the idea that profit drives humanity is capitalist propaganda, which cloaks their own laziness. That is capitalists own laziness and desperation to live off the work of the rest of us. It is they who do little while taking credit for the collective education, training, resource accumulation and organization, and ultimately the ingenuity and artistry of which they possess the least. So they've turned it upside down. And that's why I, in agreement with Lafargue suggests we have the right to be lazy. Anyway, for more context on what, what, what this little addendum was meant to be, definitely check that video on Beyonce breaks souls and class consciousness, something like that. And all the rest that's on this channel, make sure you've liked, subscribed, shared, click the bell for all your notifications. And as always, as Fred Hampton used to say to you, we say peace if you're willing to fight for it. Catch you next time right here at I Mix What I Like and, of course, throughout the platform at Black Power Media. Peace, everybody. I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like.